1. The departure of Yanis the 19th, 113th Patriarch of Alexandria, on this day of the year 1658 AM. Pope Yohannes the 19th, 113th Patriarch of Alexandria departed. He was born in the village of Dektasa, as youth governor in the year 1571 AM. His parents were righteous, therefore he was raised on pity and godliness. He drank the love of virtuous life and love since his young age to read the biographies of saints. She longed to follow with to, to follow the example. Accordingly, he went to the monastery of of the Virgin Lady, known as El Baramus in Wadil Natun, in the Mount of Paramuda, 1591 a.m. He became a monk on the 3rd of Kiach, 1592 a.m. Because of his fervent worship, worship, intelligence, and intellect, the fathers anonymously agreed to nominate him to a priest. Pope Kirillos V, 112th Patriarch, ordained him a priest in the year 1573 a.m., then Hegumen in Baramhat, 1574 a.m., and appointed him on the same day to be the head of the monastery. He remained the head of the monastery for ten years, during which he was an example of ambition, honesty, purity of conduct, firmness, godliness, and good management. When the chair of the diocese of El Bihara became vacant, the people chose Johannes a metropolitan for that chair. He was ordained on the death of Baramhat, 1603 a.m., and also was appointed as a deputy of the uh, of the See of Saint Mark. After the departure of Anba Johannes, metropolitan of El Menofai at the time, the people of the diocese nominated him to care for him. The diocese El Menofai was added to him to his duties in the year 1610 a.m., and he became the metropolitan of El Bihara, El Bet El Menofaya and the deputy of the See of Saint Mark. Since his the official seat, since his official seat was in Alexandria, he established the a theological school, a theological a theological school to educate his monks. He sent the for he sent from eight students a mission to attend for higher theological studies. The revenue of the church properties was inconsiderable. By his good judgment, the revenue increased year after year because of the high-rise buildings that he built and the renovation of the old ones. He also gave great care for the Coptic schools, elementary and high, until the standard became equivalent to, to the best schools. He built and renovated most of the churches in his parish. He also gave special attention to the monasteries in his jurisdiction which was improved greatly because of his good care and close supervision. Because of his foresight and prudence, the government chose him as a representative for the cops in the many councils and committees as the General Assembly, the Committee for Formulating the Constitution, and many others. He spent 42 years as a metropolitan, which were full of splendid works. When the blessed Pope Kirillos V departed on the 1st of Misra, 1643 a.m. The Holy Synod confirmed on him on the 4th of Misra. They unanimously agreed to choose him acting Pope to run the affairs of the Church until ordaining a patriarch. As a result of that, the Holy Synod had received many nominations from the parishes approving the choice. He performed his duties as acting patriarch for one year four months and ten days. During the period, he administered the affairs of the See of St. Mark very well, during which also the Holy Synod, with Anba Yohannes presiding, issued a canon to regulate the affairs of the monasteries and the monks. He organized a committee to oversee the church of Albertis and those of the monasteries and to review their accounts. For what everyone knew of his purity, virtuous life, and good, good character, Asceticism and pity, they, un they all unanimously agreed to choose him a patriarch with nomination from the bishops, priests, and lay leaders. He was enthroned a patriarch on Sunday, the 7th of Kiak, 
1645 a.m. in the great Saint Mark Saint Mark Saint Mark in Cairo, Spakia, that took that took place in a great celebration attended by the representatives of the king, princes, princess, mat ministers, and important Egyptian personalities, the metropolitans of different denominations, Eastern and Western, and ambassadors of foreign countries. After his ordination, Pope Johannes directed his attention to caring for the affairs of, of the Coptic people and the Church. He established a higher theological institution for the, for the education of the monks in the city of Elwan. He ordained for the Kingdom of Ethiopia a Coptic metropolitan and for well, well learned Ethiopian bishops. He traveled to Ethiopia to reform the, the unity between the Coptic and Ethiopian churches. He stayed there for thirteen days for thirteen days when they received him with great honor and respect. In Addis Ababa, he ordained the head of the Ethiopian monks, the successor of Saint Takla Haimanot as bishop. With the will of God, he made the holy oil myron in the year sixteen forty eight AM, the last time. The last time of oil, the last time the oil was made, one hundred and ten years early, the, early, earlier during the papacy of Pope Peter, one hundred ninth Pope of Alexandria, Pope Johannes made the holy oil a second time, especially, especially for the Kingdom of Ethiopia, attended by Anba Kyrgios, Metropolitan of Ethiopia, and Anba Peter, an Ethiopian bishop. His contributions, too numerous to be mentioned completely, including watching over the welfare of the church, kindness to the needy, support for charitable organizations, moral and financial support for the Coptic teaching institutions, and assistance on valuable projects that financially and spiritually benefited the Copts. During Pope Johannes' papacy, a work worked out between Ethiopia and Italy, during which most of the Ethiopian bishops did accept, died except Anba Abraham and another bishop. When Italy occupied Ethiopia, the emperor departed from his country. Anba Kirillos, the metropolitan in Ethiopia, were exiled to Egypt. He refused to agree to with Italy on separating the Ethiopian church from the Coptic Orthodox Church in November, in November 1937 AD. The Italian governor of Ethiopia decided the independence of the Ethiopian church and its separation from Alexandrian Sea. He appointed Anba Abraham, the Ethiopian bishop, a patriarch for Ethiopia. Nevertheless, God punished him for his betrayal. He became blind and died shortly after. The Alexandrian Holy Synod decided to excommunicate him, not recognizing him nor the bishops that he ordained. The situation in Ethiopia did not last long during the Second World War. The Emperor of Ethiopia regained his kingdom from Italy. Anwar Kirillos returned to his church with great honor in May 1942 AD. When Pope Johannes had released the return of the Ethiopian church to his mother church, the Coptic church, he was stricken with all means of all, means of all age. He departed in peace on Sunday 14th of Borna, 16.58 a.m. May his praise be with us. Amen. 2. On this day also, Saints Apakir, John, Ptolemy, and Philip were martyred. Saint Apakir was born in the city of Damanhur and had a rich brother called Philip. They, all, they had a greet with two priests, one called John and the other called Ptolemy, to receive the crown of martyrdom. They went to the city of Katsa and confessed the name of the Lord Christ before the governor. The governor ordered to shoot them to death with a rose, but the rose did not touch him. They were, dead. They were then cast into the hot, into red hot fire, but the angel of the Lord delivered them from it. Then the governor commanded to tie them with the tails to the tails of horses and to drag them from Cactus to the city of Damanhu, but the Lord guarded them for any harm. The governor commanded their heads and be cut, be cut off outside the city of Damanhu. They received the crown of martyrdom. People from the city, from the city of Sa came and took the body of Saint Apakir, built from his, built from him a church. 
and laid his body inside it. Many sons and wonders took place to him. The people of Daman who came and took the bodies of John, Ptolemy, Philip, wrapped them in expensive shrouds and buried them there. May their praise be with us and glory be to God forever. Amen.